How you doing today, y'all, my YouTube family? I want to talk about how to become a barber. Um, first of all, let's get started. You know, you know, these are, might be out of order. You can kind of write this down and just kind of decipher which one is would be more important to you as far as like your level as far as number one all the way down. Uh, first of all, I want to pretty much talk about um, uh, you're going to have to decide if you want to go to school full time or part time. Because I know once you get to school, your instructor is going to probably, not the instructor, but the, the, admission, the admission person is probably going to ask you um, if you want to attend school full time or part time. That's something that you want to know before you get there, you know, to pretty much to let the administrator know that, you know, you, you have all your ducks in a row, you pretty much know exactly what you want to do, you know. Full time, part time can be based off of your transportation status, how you're going to get to school, who's going to take you, as far as your work schedule, your school schedule, so you can figure all that out before you get there. So that's one thing that, you know, that you can, you can know. Uh, secondly, you know, like I say, you know, as far as your transportation or how you want to get to school, bus, car, uh, friend, family, brother, sister, whoever is going to take you to school, you got to get your schedule around their schedule. So that's another uh, thing that you're going to have to worry about as well. And also the area, the area of school that you, you pretty much want to go to school at, you know, either it's going to be on the south side, north side, east side, west side. Uh, something that's going to be convenient for you, convenient for the person that's actually going to take you to school. Also, um, the different types of uh, licenses, because you don't want to go to a cosmetology school, finish up with a cosmetology school, and you can't use a straight razor because you have a cosmetology license. Because I know I know I have a friend that went to school and he did a lot of sheer cuts and did everything else, but he didn't obtain the barber license. He has a cosmetology license. So, you know, that's something um, that you're going to have to figure out as well. Because if you obtain a cosmetology license, you cannot use the straight razor. So, you know, that's something else that you want to figure out as well when you're doing your searches as far as like the different schools that you want to attend. You know, you have barber license, you have cosmetology license. I uh, think you have to check with your different states to see what type of, uh, how many hours. Because here in Texas, is fifteen hundred dollars yeah, to attain a barber license, and also you have to decide the different type of hair and stuff that you want to cut as well. Uh, probably the different areas of town where you go, or where you go to school at. Because I went on what we consider like the south side of town. We didn't do a lot of sheer cuts. Uh, we did pretty much. We did a lot of uh, uh, blacks, Hispanics. Uh, we did get anybody of any other ethnic. Uh, it was low cuts. We did a lot of taper phase, ball phase. We did a lot of booties, south sides. So, and that's something else that you're going to have to decide to as well, the type of school that you go to. If you are if you're very well versed at cutting ball phase, taper phase, and all the other type of uh, phase that are out now, uh, you might probably want to try another school that does this sheer cuts because that's going to be an added level to your game. You know, because the school that I went to, um, we didn't have those type of cuts come through the door a lot. So, you know, and a lot of times if we did get somebody to come through the door, you know, being honestly with the long hair, you know, um, a lot of us, we kind of shied away from those because we didn't see a lot of them. And if the school was busy, you didn't want to get caught up with anything like that because you were trying to, you know, say perfect the ball fade, the taper fade, the air froze, or whatever else that was coming through the door. And sometimes I kind of I kind of regret that now being out of school a year and a half I have to try to, uh, I have to teach myself, I'm self-taught now, you know, trying to cut, you know, dealing with the shears. I'm, I'm not scared to use the shears in the cone, but, you know, it takes a little bit longer uh, from what you see a lot of people on the YouTube use. So, um, and also, you, uh, in your search, you want to decide what type of funding that you want to use, uh, because I know a lot of times you have uh, a lot of schools, they use loans, they use grants, they have um, here in Texas it's a, a program called the DARS program and also the schools that just you can just pay outright and some of the schools that don't have the funding as far as like the loans and the grants, the straight cash, you know, it, it might not be the 12000 the 15000 the 9000 
Uh, so you have to decide how much money you have and if you qualify for all the the grants and the loans and everything that's out there for you because sometimes now you could possibly go to school for free. Me, I didn't want to take out a loan and and I, and I did not qualify for grants so I went to school. It cost me $3,000 for me to finish up my school. I just pretty much paid as I went. So, you know what I'm saying, for me that was the best thing because once I finished school, I wanted to be through with school period. I didn't want to have to go back and look back and, and, and trying to pay boo friend or doing co the commission thing and have to turn around and be paying a loan back for $12,000 or $9,000 or have to deal with anything else because once I finished school, I wanted to be through with school. I believe, you know what I'm saying, if I couldn't pay for it, you know, hey, I didn't want to use it at all. So those are options that you're gonna have to sit down and you're gonna have to, to yeah, that's, that's a self-evaluation test, you know, I can't tell you what to do and how to do it because, you know, you know, that could be the road that, you know, could possibly be better for you, but the best thing for me was to pay as I went. Uh, and another thing that's, you know, I just hold true to my heart, you know, is that stay true. If you, if this is something that you want to do, stay true to it, and, you know, and, it's not going to be easy. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy. It's going to be some times there where you're not going to want to go to school because sometimes, you know, you're not going to have the clientele. I mean, not the clientele, the, the, the customers coming through. You don't feel like you might not be cutting a lot. A lot of hair, you're not learning. But, you know, stay stay true to it. With every, when everybody, when somebody else is cutting, go, go up to the chair and watch. Because a lot of times you might not be cutting, but you can learn by watching asking questions you know you know because that's the only way that you want to learn stay true to it and and, and, and you keep, you're not going to gain anything by not watching or, or or not asking questions you're not going to just sit over there and just see this see somebody cutting on the end you over here just watching then turn around watching tv no you're gonna have to get up and you have to be proactive you're gonna have to watch if not, you know, you might have to ask the person that's cutting, hey, do you mind if I, you know, do something or, or do you mind if I help you with this or whatever. If they say no, then just, just watch. Stay true to it and I guarantee you positive results will come from being positive. Hey, LT, I'm out. If you got any questions about anything or you want to know anything or you want me to make a video on something, feel free to send me something. Peace.